Hey there everybody, this is Caitlin here, aka Scribble Sketch, and I am back again with another blind reaction to the latest banner information for Fire Emblem Heroes. Literally, um, I didn't actually see this banner event video come out. I've been at work all morning, uh, because I believe it released quite early in the morning, that's probably why I missed it, because I was busy getting ready for work. So it released in the morning, I was at work all morning and everything. I get a message from my friend um, during my break at work saying, hey, the new banner for Fire Emblem is out, and it's like, don't tell me i don't want to know i want to wait till i get home and i want to see the reaction or rather i want to record my reaction i want to see it and be totally blind and everything to when i react to it so um i've literally been i worked um i went home i had a nap I had a pretty long nap because i was very tired after work i had some food and dinner and stuff and now i'm just here i'm ready to record my reaction to it now it's only a minute and 32 minutes or rather a minute and 32 seconds rather if i can get my time right uh, I managed to not see the thumbnail, I pretty much just like closed my eyes essentially and like hovered around until I found it. Uh, the banner is called Gifts of Winter, so obviously this is the Christmas banner. Um, I believe that the New Year banner is going to be starting pretty soon, uh, like afterwards, because I'm pretty sure it's starting about, well obviously it would be starting in the New Year, but I think it's like maybe we'll probably get the details for it beforehand, but this is essentially going to be our new Christmas banner, and I'm going to assume that they're going to rerun the old Christmas banner, because, you know, that's what they've been doing all year, they've been rerunning the older banners, they did it for spring, they did it for summer, they've done it for Halloween, the only ones that they haven't really done it for was performing arts, they just made up some new performing arts, or rather they made up some new dancer units, um, but anyway guys, enough blabbering, enough chit chat, we are going to dive right in here, uh, any predictions right now? I mean, I'd just be happy as long as it's not Fates and Awakening characters. As much as I adore both those games, I can understand why people are just like a bit upset that those games have gotten like a bit too much like uh, favoritism in a little bit. There are so many Fates and Awakening characters in Fire Emblem Heroes. It would be cool to see some other characters from older games or ever get a bit of a spotlight, especially since these are Christmas alts or like, you know, Christmas costumes and whatnot. But anyway, guys, enough blabbering. I'm going to dive right in here. We're going to play the video and we're going to see what this is all about. Bit loud. Fire Emblem Heroes. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, Christmassy music. Spreading holiday cheer to all. I'm liking it so far. Special heroes to battle. Let's see here. Holiday deer. Okay. Do you think I'll get <gasps> any presents? Oh my gosh, mm. babe. I hope I do. It's so cute. Okay, let's see. She's got armor march. Okay, so she's an armored dragon by the looks of it. Oh my gosh, she has the ears on her dragon. I love it. Oh, her little wings. That is so adorable. Sparkling gallantly. Okay. It's tough to move around. Oh, Ephraim. Okay. He's a armor? Oh, don't tell me these are all going to be armor units again. Please, no. I got you something. Oh, okay, that's a pretty cool attack. Nice, gentle as snow. This Erica, warms okay. The hearts of all who attend. Like, oh, she is. Wait, she's a she's an armored healer. Oh my gosh, dazzling staff, joyous huh. lantern. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Gifts of winter parallel story. Yep, so we're getting a parallel to go along with it, which is fine. All fine and dandy. Okay. So that's very, very interesting here. Let me pause the video. So it's running from the 18th till the, 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 well, it says the 18th till the 18th. So basically we're going to have it for a full month going into January, obviously. Uh, Ephraim is blue, Faye is green, and Erica is colorless. Um, going back here, let me just like uh, try and get a good look. Okay, so here's Faye. I think she looks adorable. I really like the kind of reindeer gimmick they're giving her here. She looks very, very cute. I like her little fluffy cloak and everything. I'm kind of disappointed because by the looks of it, all three of these units are armored units, which is the exact same as last year, which were all armored units. Also a little bit bummed that Faye is a, uh, is a green dragon again, so we've got another green armored dragon. I mean, we've already got Grima. It would have been nice to have um, a different armored dragon. It would have been cool if we got um, Faye as a colorless unit. I don't know how they feel about changing the colors too much in some of these units, so I mean, this is the first alt that Faye has gotten. It would have been nice to see her as a different color, but I can understand if they want to do something different. Uh, let me see here if I can find her things. Okay, so she's got glittering breath, 
Uh, Luna, Defense Slash, Res Bond 3, Vengeful Fighter 3, and Armor March. Armor March is obviously pretty good for armored uh, teams and everything. Vengeful Fighter is also pretty good. She's got like a decent looking uh, kind of kit here. Her weapon gear, glitter and breath during combat, boosts units, defense slash res by number of allies within two spaces times two. Uh, maximum bonus of plus six to each stat. If foes range equals two, calculates damage using the lower of foes defense or res. I think it seems alright. I mean, and obviously she's coming with Luna, so that's pretty good. She's basically got like a full kit here already, um, so you don't need to worry too much about it. I mean, you could obviously um, change it up as you need be, but you know, she's got the full set here. She's got a full lot of stuff going on. And then the next one we've got here is Ephraim. Now, um, I mean, it's cool that Ephraim and Erica are getting another alt, although I find it like it's a little bit hard to be insanely happy because we've already got Choose Your Legends Ephraim, we've already got Legendary Ephraim. Uh, these are like their first seasonal alts, which is kind of interesting. It would have been nice for it to go to some characters that don't have any alts at all. Um, it is also kind of a little bit boring that he's once again just a lance unit and this is another version of him which is armoured. We've already got like armoured axe Ephraim, um, so it's kind of a little bit boring, it's like not that very interesting. His design does look really cool, I quite like it, it's kind of neat. Um, definitely they made sure to make it different from Chrom's. I was worried that um, if they had any male characters in this banner that they were just going to look exactly like Chrom because you know Chrom is like uh, one of the like main protagonist lords or whatever and you know it would be very easy just to copy his costume. But it's nice to see he's got a pretty unique costume here and then let's look at his kit here again he seems to have a pretty decent one he's got the festive sequined obviously he's got dragon flying bold fighter you know i know a lot of people like the bold fighter so they might be pulling on this just to try and get some you know fodder and everything for bold fighter and he's got close guard as well attack slash defense level three he's looking pretty decent pretty decent i probably won't be trying to summon for him in all honesty as cool as he is i've got enough armored blue units and then finally here we have Erica, who is our first armoured healer. Now, I was really hoping that at some point we would get an armoured healer. Not quite sure if I was really wanting it to be this soon and on a seasonal banner and on a character that technically has quite a few alts already. But it is interesting to see. I don't know if Erica was ever... Um, I'm not too sure like on Erica's game specifically. I don't know if she ever has the opportunity to become a healer or class change into a healer. So I'm not too sure, but it is interesting that we finally got an armoured healer. So now we both have a flying healer and an armored healer. The only thing we're missing here, and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't happen because um, it doesn't really make much sense, it would be a dragon healer. But I don't think that would really work because obviously dragon and healer can't be the same thing. Um, or it could be like really cool to get something else to make up for it. Like maybe a dragon that is able to use a passive skill or whatever to heal other dragons because obviously that would be pretty neat for dragon emblem teams and everything because you don't really get a healer on those kind of teams but very interesting again i'm not quite sure what makes erica an armor judah because right now her outfit doesn't look very heavy uh similar argument i guess to christmas star judah hers isn't very um cr uh like armor heavy i guess because she barely wears anything uh, but now let's look at her kit. So she's got Joyous Lantern for her staff. She's got Restore Plus, Heavenly Light, Dazzling Staff. Um, Dazzling Staff, of course, is a very good skill. And Attack Opening 3 at start of turn. It grants Attack plus 6 to ally with, a, with the highest attack for one turn, which excludes this unit. Um, very interesting base kit here. And then obviously we're going to be getting a Paralog, which is called Gifts of Winter. Which is interesting. Um, is there anything interesting on the map here? We've got like a Christmassy map here, and um, we've got the three units. And by the looks of it here, um, just uh, you probably can't see my mouse cursor, or whatever, because I turned that setting off. It looks like um, we're going to get, I believe, because we're judging from this icon here. I think this is Celica or Cecilia, or however you pronounce her name, the green-haired one. I can't remember her name. Is it Cecilia or is it Cel? I'm pretty sure Celica is the red-haired one. And Cecilia, I think that's how you pronounce it. She seems to have a shuriken here. Now, I'm hoping to God, uh, or I'm hoping to Naga, rather, that she is not a armoured shuriken. Um, because I would really love it if not all of these units were armour. But um, I'm guessing that this character here is going to be the Tempest Trial reward. Because I know there's a Tempest Trial coming up pretty soon. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, actually. I'm pretty sure it's like, it's not the same as the parallel here, um, but I'm pretty sure that there's one coming up. So that means more chances to get orbs, guys. But I am very excited for this. I'm definitely going to think I'm going to try and summon Erica, just specifically because she is an armored healer. So she is a new type of unit. Um, I'm going to maybe hopefully try and not go too hard in this banner because I've saved up quite a lot of orbs, but I would like to try my best to save orbs 
hopes for the New Year banner, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get a new New Year banner. Um, that's a really weird sentence to say. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know your first impressions of these units. Are you disappointed that we've gotten more uh, armor uh, units? Are, are you disappointed that both Erica and Ephraim have more alts? And are you a little bit disappointed that maybe Faye didn't get something a bit more unique in terms of her uh, color and her kind of class here because she is an armored dragon and we've got so many armored dragons already. It's kind of ridiculous. But I hope you, got, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and be sure to follow guys and subscribe for more more Fire Emblem Heroes content and I will see all of you next time. This video was made possible thanks to patrons such as Craig McCutcheon and Neko Senpai.